Okay, guys, uh, welcome to my first video. Uh, this is Four Brain speaking, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Seymour or Seymour, whatever's pronounced, uh, with an Orion based DPS team. We are going to be using a team like this. So basically, we're going to have Merlin as main pet. We are going to have Martha for the speed ultimate. We're going to have Faceless to increase the speed ultimate of Martha even more. We are going to have Celeste for her magic attack artifact and her dark damage uh, in, in the basic attack in dark form. And we are going to use Orion as main DPS to ult nonstop. We are going to have Astaroth as tank. You can use any tank you have, uh, you don't need to use Astaroth, so you should use your main tank. But if you don't use Astaroth, then your Faceless will need to be developed enough to survive the first uh, Fire Orb from Seymour. In my case, he's not, but at he's going to be resuscitated by Astaroth, then it is, doesn't matter. Otherwise, you will just going to need to invest a little bit more on Faceless Health and, and Magic Defense in order to be able to survive that first blast. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit first about my hero stats. Now, as I said, the first hero we're going to need is Martha. We need Arthur, Martha mostly for her ultimate skill or first skill to increase the speed up to 250%. Then for healing, of course, but this is not that important. So her magic attack and so on and her health are only import mainly important so to be able to survive the attacks of Seymour. The most important that she's one level 130 has the first test of well, all the skills maxed and is able to survive the first attack as long as you have that you should be good i'm gonna be using axel as patronage um, to just to increase a little bit more her magic attack and armor although armor is not needed in this boss at all then we are gonna have faceless where i have mara on him just because it I have this pet and can use it, so to increase a little bit his magic defense. The main thing that we're going to need is his uh, doppelganger uh, ability. So we also need him at 130 and all maximum skills. Apart from that, he just needs to be survivable enough so that um, he has enough health to survive the first, uh, well, not the first attack in my case, because he's going to be resuscitated by Astaroth, but the water orb attack. So you need enough health and enough magic defense to be able to survive that. If you have that, then you're good. If you if he dies, then you just need to invest a little bit more of him. Just to show you, um, his glyphs are not very high, 15. I did max his um, gift of the elements and here artifacts are very basic. You are, don't need any of this for him at all. Maybe the ring gives a little of extra magic defense, but that's it. Same for Martha, really. Uh, I can go back to her just to show you. Her artifacts are max because in my case, she's one of my main healers, but this doesn't necessarily need to be so. I also have her glyphs pretty maxed and um, the gift of the elements. These are her stats. But the most important is that she survives and has the, the maxed um, uh, uh, ultimate, uh, the first skill, yeah, max level, and that she's able to heal the whole team after the first attack. But there's a lot of time for that, so any Martha should do it. Then we have Orion. Orion is my main DPS. Orion is pretty max. I think this is the only item I'm missing for full maximizing his damage. So that needs to be very high. I do have maxed all his artifacts. I have maxed pretty much all his glyphs, except maybe the health and magic defense. And I have max gift of the elements. Um, I am using Merlin on him for extra magic attack. Magic penetration doesn't matter because his artifact is masks, maxed. But it is good to have this uh, patron skill because it will make it uh, attack a little bit faster and that will make it be able to ult faster as well. Then we have Celeste. I also have pretty good developed. I'm having Biscuit on her just for extra magic attack. And uh, these are her glyphs. This uh, is her gift of the elements. And these are her stats. What we are going to need from her uh, really is the artifact. So this is Max. Uh, she's going to use this artifact to really boost the damage that Orion can output. And also important, we are going to always be uh, keep her in dark form so that with her basic attack, um, 
she she has a magic damage which is going to be help uh, bring down those pillars so we're just going to always ult her when her mag her bar is full and ult twice then as main pet we are just using merlin uh, for to to have additional damage to the to the pillars so let's go on let's go on with the fight okay so let's continue on with the fight the actual fight uh, as, uh, if we just skip to this part we're gonna fight simmer today this is gonna be our setup now remember the order of the uh, ultimate is gonna be important first goes martha she's gonna bring a speed then goes uh, faceless to bring even more speed then celeste twice to give magic attack uh, but stay in dark form and then uh, merlin and orion to to do damage and then we're gonna just keep ulting orion these first pillars we cannot break so we are just gonna be ignoring them uh, and to be able to just have our energy ready for the following pillars because we can ult orion here though uh, but uh, it doesn't really matter. But you can always keep ulting Orion uh, in order to to keep damaging Simper. Here I was I was kind of waiting for the next pillar, but I didn't realize that the first pillar was water. We are gonna be ignoring water pillars because they don't damage uh, Seymour when we manage to break the pillars um, and they also don't give us any perk that we need, they heal us, we have enough healing with Martha. So basically from this point on we need to break all the fire orbs, all the fire orb pillars because that, they will damage Seymour a lot and we need to break all the earth pillars because it will stun Seymour and also make him take 10 times the damage for a little bit. So now we ult Martha, we ult Felthless, we ult Celeste twice, and then we ult Merlin and Orion, and we keep spamming Orion ult uh, as, as long as we need to to break these pillars. Now you don't need to use point and click for this. Uh, you can use the keyboard shortcuts, just so you know, in case you didn't know. You can use keys one to five to ult your heroes, and and Q to ult your pet. Okay, now it's gonna come the fire orb. We cannot miss a uh, fire orb, otherwise faceless will die, and we might be in trouble if uh, or I, uh, Astro didn't have enough time to to reset his res resurrection ability. Also, if we miss any of the fire orbs, really, we won't be able to kill Seymour on time. So if you miss a fire orb, you can pretty much reset the fight, as uh, it's going to be very unlikely that you kill Seymour, especially now that you has been nerfed and cannot be used in this setup. This is a uh, water orb again, so we'll be ignoring it. Faceless is the one that gets more damage by this, as mine is not very developed. But you just need to develop Faceless enough so that he is able to survive this attack. Some extra damage to Seymour, nice. Water orb, so we ignore it. The reason I'm ignoring water orbs is because sometimes Martha is not charged fully. 
by the start of the orb, of the next orb, and that really makes it take a lot of damage if we don't manage to, to break the, the earth orb. So basically I prefer to just make sure that Martha is fully charged for the earth orb and we don't miss it. Also because if she comes a little bit late to the earth orb we might still be able to make it but then she will be late for the fire orb and then we will miss that one and that's a no-go. Okay, and this should be our last orb. After this, Sembor is gonna be almost dead, but probably not quite dead. So after we kill this orb, we are just gonna keep spamming all ults from all heroes uh, in the hopes that we give him that final touch and we kill him. So as we see, almost dead, but not quite. Now let's do some extra damage and that should be it. And there it is. Seamus dead. We did it guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this video and it's useful to you. You can like it if you want, you can share it if you want and you think it will be useful for somebody else. See you next time. And see you in the game. Have fun.